Hey, welcome to uh, Monday Message with Coach Mike. It's Monday, April 13th, 2020. Um, and today we're going to talk about uh, part two of what is greatness and how we define it. Uh, last week we talked about what is greatness and how we define it and the characteristics that come along with the with greatness. This week we're going to talk about what greatness is not and those characteristics that come along with with that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, greatness is not genetic. We all pos possess the potential for greatness, but greatness itself is not an inborn trait. Uh, take LeBron James, Tom Brady, and or Tiger Woods. Uh, anyone could point to someone of their same size and strength and same talent level, but what separates them from the rest of us is the drive to be great. No one is born great. No one is inherently great without making a significant sacrifice towards reaching their goals. You must have the drive. Number two, greatness is not about the record books. The simple truth is that greatness is not about winning, but it's something achieved only through a wholeness of one's self. This is something we talked about last week. If your vision of personal greatness is defined only by statistics of a number, it is not likely to last because there will always be someone coming along behind you who is poised to surpass it. Number three, greatness does not take shortcuts. Greatness cannot be achieved by seeking a back door to success. Instead, greatness understands that improvement comes only through the repeated and deliberate work towards a goal. Just simply breaking a record does not make someone great. Adherence to discipline and dedication are what shapes a person into greatness. Number four, greatness isn't perfect. Great players have bad games. Great people have bad days. Flaws don't eliminate you from the pursuit of greatness. They make you human. Anyone who desires to be great must understand that failure, disappointment, and letdowns are a part of life. The great ones learn from those experiences and become stronger as a result. Greatness must understand both losing as well as winning. Number five, greatness is not a fad. Greatness is not defined by one moment. There are plenty of one-hit wonders out there, but greatness is defined by long-lasting over time. Greatness is not defined by simply by simple by current values or trends, but it is proving to have staying power. Greatness is not something that is here here today and gone tomorrow. Greatness never goes out of style. Greatness transcends the moment to be lasting and timeless. Number six, greatness is not the same as fame. Some individuals never see their names on the front pages of news, but through quiet actions like parenting, mentoring, teaching, and giving, they touch the lives of those around them. Many people desire to be famous. Most are not willing to do the work required to become great. Fame is attention gained through a person public image. Greatness is a philosophy gained through the genuine manner in which a person lives his or her life. Genuine being the key word. So we only had six today, but a common theme of all these from this week and last week is the ideas is not necessarily greatness itself, but the pursuit of greatness. It is in the chase of this ideal that character development happens. It is development Thoughts and behaviors of greatness begin to emerge. Pursuit of greatness does not happen through passivity, through wishing, or through half efforts and shortcuts. Greatness is both the goal and byproduct of its pursuit. So again, hopefully we've learned a little something about greatness. We all possess greatness. Um, we're not going to possess all 15 characteristics that we went through the last couple weeks, but it's something that we can certainly strive for. Uh, if we can kind of piece together some of these, we all make ourselves a little bit better, both in life and in the sport that we love to do. Hopefully you've learned a little something and we will see you next time. Thanks.